How's it going everyone? My name is Corbin with Home Gyms Canada. Welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we are going to be checking out one of my favorite bars that we have here in the gym, and that is this Cambridge Swiss bar from XM Fitness. I've had this bar for a couple of months now, and I figured what better time than right now to share some thoughts with you and to tell you a little bit about why I wanted one of these bars in the first place. Let's get into it. As per usual, we are gonna start at the very beginning, which in my case was with the packaging and unboxing process. And to say the least, it was excellent. The package arrived with no rips or tears in the cardboard and the bar itself was in excellent condition as well with no scratches or blemishes on it, which is to be expected, but nonetheless, good job XM Fitness. Now the reason I wanted one of these barbells in the first place is because I fell victim to poor shoulder health and I couldn't really bench without irritation using a traditional barbell. On top of that, I also play a sport called para ice hockey, more commonly known as sledge hockey. This sport is extremely demanding on your shoulders and this bar has given me the opportunity to continue pressing without that irritation I was accustomed to before. One thing I specifically like about this barbell is the camber design, which is going to allow for a more pain-free and in some cases, a deeper range of motion. Before using this barbell, I felt more and more discomfort the deeper the bar got into the lift. The reason I'm able to tolerate a greater range of motion is because this bar utilizes a neutral grip instead of a pronated grip. A neutral grip is going to take the majority of the stress off of your shoulders and move more of the load to the triceps. This bar offers three different neutral grip positions, all with a pretty aggressive neural which is going to provide a nice grip. For those of you that have been around the channel for a while, you know that we like a nice, decent knurl. These grip positions aren't all angled at 90 degrees either. They're actually angled in a little bit, as you can see here, which makes the lifting experience that much better because there's gonna be less stress on the wrists. The main component here in the middle is powder coated in a black textured finish, which is gonna provide a little bit of resistance against corrosion. On either end, both of the sleeves are coated in a chrome finish. Um, it doesn't seem very high quality. Like I said before, we've had this bar for a couple of months now, and there's already quite a few scratches and blemishes on the sleeves. Doesn't bother me too much, but just felt like I should add it in the video. This bar measures 6.3 inches in handle width, which is going to be big enough for the bar to feel nice and balanced in your hands. I don't find I'm having any balancing issues at all while I'm using this. And while on this topic, my wrists feel completely comfortable when using this bar as well. This is a little bit new for me, as any time I would lift heavy with a traditional bar, I was always accustomed to wrist wraps. Now, one of the more common questions I get asked about this bar is how much does it weigh? And to answer your question, this bar comes in at 25 pounds. Yes, I would have liked to see it weigh 45 pounds, just so us meatheads have a better understanding of the plate math that goes into loading this bar but at the end of the day, it doesn't really make a difference. Now, one of the reasons I think they're trying to keep this bar on the lighter side is because you can also use this bar as a cable attachment. As you can see, there's a little spot at the top of the bar here to attach a carabiner to, in which it's going to allow you to use this bar for your pull downs or your cable rows or whatever you choose to do. We personally haven't been using it as a cable attachment, mainly because of the space it requires. Our cable machine is in the corner of the room and it is painfully awkward to maneuver this bar around to use as a cable attachment. Another reason that we aren't using this as a cable attachment is just because of how many cable attachments that we have here in the gym. Why struggle to try and use something when you have something else that does it completely better? Although I personally won't be using this bar as a cable attachment, I guess it is a nice addition that they included this for people that plan on doing so. So how much does this bar cost? This barbell comes in at $249, which in my opinion is a pretty sweet deal. But in order to justify paying that amount for this bar, we need to better understand the competing barbells so we can understand the market. Let's talk about some of those. The first bar I wanna introduce into the conversation is probably one of the most popular, and that's going to be the Arch Nemesis bar from Bells of Steel. Like I said before, this is probably the most owned camber Swiss bar on the market right now, and for good reason. It's priced exceptionally well at $200, and it does a lot of things right for a bar in that price point. The next bar or bars I wanted to bring up next is going to be the Cadillac bar from Kabuki Strength and the new Swiss bar from Rogue Fitness. 
The reason I want to bring up these two next is because they are in a class of their own in terms of cambered Swiss bars and their price unfortunately reflects that. Um, the Kabuki option comes in at $687 and the Rogue option comes in at $584. The last bar I'm going to bring up, I'm not going to talk too too much about, but if you're actually in the market for a cambered Swiss bar, you should definitely consider this one as well. This one is going to be from Rep Fitness. They have a cambered Swiss bar, relatively new, came out around the same time, I think, as the Rogue option, but comes in at $354 Canadian dollars. Again, if you're in the market, it might be something you want to consider. Now that we've seen a little bit about where the competing barbells stand in terms of what they bring to the table, let's talk specifically about this bar and the value it brings for $250. Now keep in mind, this is coming from somebody that has used this bar for the past six months, and I have also used the Kabuki Cadillac bar and the Bells of Steel Arch Nemesis bar, but definitely not as frequently as I've used this one. All right, the Cambridge Swiss bar from XM Fitness has a lot of the similar characteristics in comparison to the Kabuki Cadillac bar, but this bar just doesn't really feel as detailed or defined really as a product in comparison to the Cadillac bar. I think Kabuki's option just does everything significantly better, which is one of the reasons why they're in the top tier when it comes to specialty bars. Now it gets a little bit more interesting when we compare the XM bar here to the Bells of Steel Arch Nemesis bar. This bar that we have here feels a lot bigger in your hands and even though it doesn't weigh more, it almost feels like it does when it's in your hands just because of the size difference. With that said, the Bells of Steel option comes in $50 cheaper and actually offers a fully welded design. All right, let's summarize everything that we've talked about in this video. The new Rogue Swiss bar and the Kabuki Cadillac bar should both be considered if you're gonna be using this bar multiple times a week and you can justify paying that price, or you can just buy it if you simply want the best of the best. That is up to you. The Bells of Steel option comes in at a more budget-friendly price point, which is awesome. And for the bar that they've came out with, they've done a lot of things right, and it's priced at $200, which is exceptional. So the question I'm asking you, is the $50 price separation between the XM Cambridge Swiss bar and the Bells of Steel Arch Nemesis bar worth it? In my opinion, yes. Maybe I'm biased, I've been using this bar for a while, maybe I'm not, who knows. Anyways, I appreciate you sticking around to the end of the video. As always, my name was Corbin with Home Gyms Canada. I hope you enjoyed today's video, and I'll see you guys around here sometime soon.